welcome back my friend to the bee tree. These are right there, so I gotta be careful not to mess them up. See, that one's not breaking fast, so that would actually take the whole tree down. The reason I have gotten this up here is so that I can actually do what I guess will be my, my larger long-term settlement spot. And this was a good place to begin. Gives me a good look at what's going on out there. Uh, there it was a drifter. Yep, got a drifter out there. Bunny rabbit. I'm using the Z key to zoom in. It's one of our mods we have. Another drifter there. Today, I think we're going to gather clay and get to work on creating a cooking pot and a few other things to maximize our food. I've been trying to get an overall count on the number of villagers that are here, and it really hasn't been very easy, quite frankly. Alright. I have a few carrots for breakfast. Then we will go down and do some cooking, but I need to make a fresh axe. And a shovel. Where are you, shovel head? Shovel head. Careful there, Richard. There are definitely drifters around. In fact, there's one right there. Okay, he's running. Collect clay.
good enough. That will get us started. Gonna need more flint and soon, very, very soon. This is sure making the rabbit hunting easy. his little rabbit brain for brain tanning though we're not actually doing any brain tanning problem is he is laying in the cabbages let's see if I can push him out of there nope Finally, finally got a hide. It's just a little one, but it's a hide. that cook all right first thing we're gonna make a cooking pot excess clay I have to remove from the outside like so and then the next layer turns green four bowls.
a little bright so it's a little hard to see the uh, yellow squares here. just used up all the clay in that pile so I just need to grab this clay pull it down in the same position there we go storage vessel. They hit F, go to a three by three grid. layers of clay to put in. If you're on a multiplayer server, other people with clay can help build it like uh, with napping people can help with uh, shaping stone tools. And we're getting there. Take a sip of my tasty coffee.
it is. Okay. So, the bowls are already in my inventory. Pick that guy up. And pick this guy up. Now, I need to find a spot where I'm not going to burn down the entire village. Just like half the village, you know? will ensure that the rain does not put them out and now I need a bunch of grass and a bunch of sticks thankfully the one thing we got is lots and lots of grass right here Shift right clicking. It's going to go down in there. And the four bowls are going to go in here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook three of the bowls. And the fourth one I'll place, but I'm not actually going to set that one up to fire. Alright, now sticks. But not least, firewood. Like I said, only burned down half the village.
Alright, that will burn for 24 hours. get started. To make removal of undesirable fleshy bits easier, hides were tied into sacks with the flesh side inward filled with water to soften the flesh. To do this, simply right-click your hide on a water surface or craft a sack using a filled bucket of water. Place the sack on the ground someplace and wait. When it's ready, it will become a soaked hide sack. While waiting, it would be useful to craft up a stretching frame. Simply take the hide when it's ready and stretch it on the frame. Using a trusty knife, crouch and begin scraping away hair, fat, and other undesirable materials from the hide using right mouse button. The next step might sound disgusting, but it's essential to create a soft, pliable leather. We need to create a braiding solution to soak our hide. In any, anim any animal brain will do. Take the brain and combine it with 10 liters of water in a barrel to create the solution. Okay, so what, what is the point of creating brain tanning as a methodology if you're going to make it dependent on something like barrels, which without mods would not be available to us like for a really long time. But anyway, um, now take the hide from the stretching frame, seal it in the barrel with the braining solution you just made. This will take some time. When the hide has been thoroughly soaked in solution, the next step is to smoke the hide. This makes the hide water resistant and gives the leather its iconic golden color. Hang your hide over a fire pit and wait for it to become a smoked hide. Now the final part, take your smoked hide and using a knife carefully cut it into strips of leather. This is performed in the crafting grid. Okay. So, let me, let me educate you a little bit here on brain tanning. The creator in his, her, its wisdom, gave every mammal exactly enough brains in its little head to tan its hide. Rabbit, squirrel, deer, bear, human, makes no difference. Whatever animal you have, it will have enough, if it's a mammal, it will have enough brains, even a mouse, enough brains in its skull to tan its hide. Crazy, huh? All right, well, normally what you would do is you would take a bucket of water and you would squish up the brains in the water to make a mush. You would scrape it, the extra flesh away, flesh and fat away from the flesh side of the hide. If you were going to tan it without the fur on it, then what you would do is you would soak the whole hide in water for about five days because at that point you would be able to take and simply use your fingers to just, or, or you know, a stick or whatever, to just take that hair right off the outside of that hide. Because it basically, it breaks down the base of the follicles and makes that hair easy to remove. So now what you have is you have a raw hide. The, the soaked hide has had the hair removed on the outside, it's been scraped clean on the inside, and that is what you brain tan. You take your, your mush and you smear it around on both sides of the hide until you've got it thoroughly covered. You stretch it in a rack and let it dry. And when it is finally dry, what you do is you take it over a, a narrow edge, like the, think, think the side of a canoe paddle, okay? But obviously you'd have something specialized that you make and you'd rub it back and forth. And this is called breaking the hide. And what it does is it softens the hide up so that it becomes flexible. And then, yes indeed, you would hang it over an appropriate fire um, in order to smoke the hide and make smoked buckskin. So, there you go. I don't know why they're requiring us to make giant barrels and stuff, but it's okay. We can potentially brain tan this little hide. 
Don't know if I will or not, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning.